there. This is Miss Righteous, your media specialist, and I'm actually at home with my daughter who's under the weather today. So we are going to go through this lesson uh, via screencast. And what we'll be talking about today is how to use the online subscription databases to brainstorm topic ideas for your argumentative paper. So the first thing we want to do is we'll go to the internet here. And let's just go to Shakopee Schools. We'll scroll down to the high school here. And underneath Media Center, let's click on Library Catalogs and Online Databases. Click on Online Databases. And these are the, the databases that you have available through the Media Center. A couple of them are particularly good for brainstorming topics, which I think can sometimes be one of the hardest parts of an assignment like this. One database in particular, this Facts on File, Issues and Controversies, is really helpful. To log in the first time, you just need to type in Shakopee HS as the username and Sabres as the password. You can access any of these databases from any place that you have the internet. So let's take a look at Facts on a File first. So we'll type in Shakopee HS and Sabres for the password. Oops, let me try that again. There we go. Okay, so along the top of this database you'll see several topics that are really hot in the news right now. Uh, you might look through there to see if anything strikes your interest. And then down below, you'll see broad categories like families and youth, science and technology, government and politics. And underneath there will be subtopics. But even those subtopics are big. And you wouldn't choose, say, racial profiling or terrorism as a topic for a paper that's two to three pages. So what we'll do is we'll click on one of these subtopics and let's say I'm interested in sports and it brings you to research questions that are more along the lines of the scope you're looking for. So a research question like should mixed martial arts be legal or if you're looking for one that relates to high school students should all high school athletes undergo heart screening? Uh, let's say I'm interested in should the NCAA pay college athletes? We'll click on the topic here and it will bring me to an article that gives a little synopsis of what the supporters argue and what the opponents argue. If we scroll down here we'll get a pretty extensive resource on the history of the topic, how it became controversial. And if we go down even further, we'll there we go. We'll get one side. NCAA players must be compensated for their work, opponents insist. So what the supporters say. If we scroll down further, we'll get information on what the critics say. College sports must remain strictly amateur. So for today, uh, you don't have to read um, very in depth because what you're doing is you're just looking for topics. But it might be a good idea to skim these articles to see what some of the main arguments are. So let's say that one of these topics does seem like something you're interested in. You may want to get back to it easily so I would recommend emailing it to yourself. Maybe putting a little hint on what it's about. Just a word of caution. Make sure when you're trying to get back to these articles that you don't copy this link up here. That won't take you to this actual page. So Again, you want to make sure you share it with yourself. That's the best way to get back to it.
If you do want to copy a link, you can click on citation and you'd want to copy this link right here. So that is facts on file issues and controversies. So today you'll have time to just look at the different topics and explore if there's anything that you would like to do for this assignment. The other database that you might want to look at is in the Electronic Library for Minnesota. And it's one that's probably familiar to you from junior high. It's this Points of View Reference Center. And some of these databases are kind of set up in, in similar ways. You can see this one has uh, topics that are in the news and then uh, large topics and subtopics down below. So let's say, say I'm interested in arts and music in public schools. The page that comes up is just an overview and will give you broad information about the topic. If you click on points of view, you'll be able to link to articles that are in favor of and in um, opposition to the topic. So, for example, point, the arts are a vital part of education, would be the supporting side. And the counterpoint, the opposition would say funding for the arts is a lower educational priority. So we'll support the arts and we'll click on that one. Say I wanted to go back to this. In this database you would you could either email it to yourself or arts and schools. Or if you wanted to save the link, again don't copy this link up here you're looking for something called the permalink and you would copy this link instead. So either way is okay, but you want to do one of those things to be able to get back to it easily. Okay, so these two databases, the Facts on File and the Points of View Reference Center in Electronic Library for Minnesota, those are good places to start for today for brainstorming topics. Once you have a few topics that you're interested in, what we'd like you to do by the end of the period is submit your topic ideas on a form. And this is how you get there. Under Media Center, you go down to Class Projects. And I put your link at the very top here, English 10 Argumentative Essay. And this just gives some things to think about while you're looking for topics. And then if you could submit three topic ideas that interest you on this form here. So you'll just click on it and then submit what you're thinking about doing. And here, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your topic indicates which side that you favor. So for example, schools should not adopt cash for grades programs or US gun control laws should be strengthened you wouldn't want to just put gun control laws okay and then you click submit all right so today is your time for exploring topics we encourage you to try to find a topic that you're really interested in because it will make your research more enjoyable so if you have any questions, feel free to ask um, your teacher or me when I get back or Miss Lunin or Miss Fountain, depending on who's in the library right now. All right, I hope you have a good class period and we will see you tomorrow.